Are you coming home soon? You don't message back. I need to get high on your love. Can you get back ASAP? We've been off and on for a while now. Yeah, it's complicated. But I like to get high on your love. I'm addicted. If your love was something I could buy, I'd buy it a thousand times. But I wouldn't think twice. Baby, just name your price. If you love something I could buy, I'd buy it a thousand times. Yeah. Darling, I know we fight sometimes, but your love gets me high. Got ourselves and now we feel it. Are you coming home soon? You don't miss it's bad. I need to get high on your love. Can you get back a cell? We've been off and on for a while now. Yeah, it's complicated. But I like to get high on your love. I'm a ticket. Your love is something I could buy. I'd buy it a thousand times. I wouldn't say it twice, baby. Just name your price. If your love is something I could buy. I'd buy it a thousand times. Yeah. Darling, I know we fight sometimes, but your love gets me high. I know I'm not the best at communicating And I know we've been on the rocks for a while now Yeah, it's complicated But I need your love It's more than a addiction Come on If your love is something I could buy I'd buy it a thousand times I wouldn't say it twice, baby, just name your price. If your love is something I could buy, I'd buy it a thousand times. Darling, I know we fight sometimes, but your love gets me high. Alright, come on, give me a clap. My name's Sam Cullen, thank you for having me. You fancy singing a little bit? Sing this back to me. Sing hey, sing hey, sing hey, sing hey. Oh, oh.
your love is something I could buy I'd buy it a thousand times I wouldn't say it twice Baby, just name your price If your love is something I could buy I'd buy it a thousand times But then I know we fight sometimes It's your love gets me high See you soon. Thank you so much. Tenakoto Katoa. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to the MLT Hokanui Fashion Design Awards for 2023, our 35th year. Our committee's journey began in August of last year with our debrief meeting. Since then, a dedicated group of volunteers has poured tremendous effort into bringing this event to life. I take immense pride in being part of a team that generously dedicates their precious time to make this event a reality. And on that, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of the employers and families who support the individuals involved in the awards. There are so many individuals and organisations that deserve our thanks. But first and foremost, I want to extend our deepest appreciation to our naming rights sponsor, the Matilda Licensing Trust. Thank you again for your unwavering support which enables us to plan and execute this event with such certainty and confidence. Your ongoing support means the world to us. I also want to acknowledge and thank all of our other sponsors. You will be acknowledged tonight throughout the show and in your programs. Your generosity and willingness to back our show for 2023 is truly appreciated. We hope you have a remarkable evening filled with inspiration and excitement. A special thanks goes out to the production team, Strawberry Sound and Southern Lights, for your exceptional work once again. Katrina Bristow, your talent in working with the models is truly amazing and your ability to create a phenomenal show shines through from beginning and end again tonight. The designers, you are the heart and soul of our show. Without you, we would not have a reason to gather here. Your incredible talent and creativity have brought life to this event. And I sincerely hope that you take pride in seeing your work showcased on the catwalk tonight. To all of our models who grace the stage with stunning elegance, thank you for your dedication and effort that you've put into showcasing the fantastic designs from this year's awards. Last but not least, I want to express our gratitude to our esteemed judges, Vicky Taylor, Steve Dunstan and Liam Bowden. You form the dream team. Your genuine enjoyment of the entire awards experience is a testament to the remarkable community of Gore and a strong endorsement to our community. Tonight we've come together to celebrate the culmination of months of hard work, creativity and passion. I hope you have a truly memorable evening and enjoy the remarkable spectacle that is the 2023 Matilda Licensing Trust Hokanui Fashion Design Awards. Everybody, oh my gosh, there's such an amazing vibe in the room. Who's excited to be here? I know! So am I! Thank you so much. You've been asking where Jeremy is. Hey, I, he brought it up, not me, not me. Uh, so not only is he not here, but neither are my shoulders. I got a bit chilly, I'm sorry, no shoulders tonight. But I did bring the girls out, so... Thank you. So did a lot of the other ladies. Power to you all. Lovely to see you. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, officially to the Matoda Licensing Trust Hokunui Fashion Design Awards for 2023. As I said, it is so wonderful to be with you here tonight. Uh, we are going to see some wonderful fashion and some extraordinary talent. I feel very privileged to have been backstage for a lot of the afternoon and truly what you're gonna to see tonight will take your breath away. It really, really will. Um, a special welcome to Mayor Ben Bell, Horace McCauley, Chairman of the Matola Licensing Trust, our naming rights sponsor, of course, and fashion school representatives, and all of the amazing designers. Okay, 
Let's get into it, shall we? First up tonight, the school section. Now, these school awards were all awarded and presented last night, but we'll still be announcing the winners' entries throughout the sections. Our first section of the evening is the Macca Lodge Upcycled Award, a garment creatively made from materials that had a former life. Let's welcome to the stage the Macca Lodge Upcycled Section.
now my pleasure to invite our finalists to join me on stage. They are Sophia Hallett, Alice McGuinness, and Mae Dyson. And our runner-up is Sophia Hallett of St. Matthew's Collegiate School in Masterton. And the winner of the Macca Lodge Upcycled Award is Alice McGuinness of St. Matthew's Collegiate School, Masterton. Congratulations. Our next section is the Collective Design Streetwear Award, a garment with unique youthful energy inspired by New York streetwear. Please welcome to the stage the Collective Design Streetwear. Sneakers. I like your money 
that's different, Pete, about the 69 that makes it so exciting to you. 2,000 people in a seething, roaring, shouting mass. All the people I know are musicians. I revolve around music. That's all I know. They've each got their own little thing that they like. <laughs> Let's not forget, these are the school students. Aren't they so talented? Can I now ask the finalists to join me on stage? Caitlin Ryan, Kersha Napier, and Elijah Anscombe. The runner-up is Kersha Napier of St. Matthew's Collegiate School in Masterton. And the winner of the Collective Design Streetwear Award is Caitlin Ryan of St. Matthew's Collegiate School in Masterton. What amazing, amazing outfits. Our next section is the Spark Natural Fibres Award. Now this is a garment crafted from the beauty of Mother Earth using natural fibers and techniques. Please welcome to the stage, the Spark Natural Fibers section.
the stage and it always entertains you giving pleasure Finalists are going to join me on stage. They are Risha Smuts Kennedy, Elizabeth Grounds, and Sophie Cupid. The runner up is Risha Smuts Kennedy of St. Matthew's Collegiate School, Masterton. And the winner of the Spark Natural Fibres Award is Elizabeth Grounds of St Hilda's Collegiate in Dunedin. <laughs> Wonderful work, everybody. Congratulations. Now, our last section in the school section is the Regional Ford Glamour Award. Okay, so this is a garment filled with exi excitement designed to turn heads at a formal Met Gala-like event. Let's welcome to the stage the regional Ford Glamour.
I need a shot of innocence Cause my heart's around about fence But I'm shaking like a wet leaf My hood is leaking underneath So I pray to the gods above But I can't decide which one Which one will help me get this message through Baby, I'm addicted to you Say no heart can break. There ain't no end to trouble two can make. Been through a 
thousand yesterdays Not every step I can retrace Now I'm walking in the dark Could if I the side But somehow I lose these thoughts with ease under Buddha power trees I'm walking in the dark oh, of great
just cannot get over the talent. It's just so fabulous. Right, can I please invite to the stage the following finalists? Isabel Judd, Hannah Fleming, and Samantha Plimmer. The runner-up is Isabel Judd of St. Matthew's Collegiate Masterton. And the winner of the Regional Ford Glamour Award is Samantha Plimmer of St. Matthew's Collegiate Masterton. And now it is my great pleasure to announce the Benina School Award of Excellence. Now again, this award was presented last night. So we'd like to welcome to the stage the Benina School Award of Excellence winner. It is Alice McGuinness, St. Matthew's Collegiate School, Masterton. About this. Your mama never listen to a word that you say. Simple little words just to make another change. So lay that in my grave. All in the gaps and they can't get up. Holding up the ropes and they get some trouble. Strategy thoughts. Congratulations, Alice. You certainly get a sense that the New Zealand fashion industry is in very, very good hands. Some wonderful, wonderful talent there. Now, very shortly, we'll be taking a short break, 15-minute break, but I do need to tell you about the People's Choice Award. So we're going to take a few breaks throughout the evening, and we encourage you, after each section, to go and place your People's Choice vote. You can do that at the merchandise area. It is the Collaborate Fashion People's Choice Award. So please go and do that during the break. We will be back very shortly to give out some more awards. See you soon. Ah, oh, there's a lot of excitement in the room. I can feel it. You realize that part of being the MC is to be the bossy britches. So it's time to return to your seats. I know, you're having a great time. And maybe just lower the noise a little bit. Lower the, you don't have to be silent, but just lower the noise a little. If you're shouting, to someone, that's probably a little bit too loud. So if you could just take a moment, grab your drinks, return to your tables, because we're moving on to the open section. Okay, just need a little bit more hush. Thank you, thank you, that's lovely. Only because it's early on in the evening and if I have to start shouting, I won't have a voice by the end of it. So we're moving on to the, thank you. We're moving on to the, was that for me? We're moving on to the open section, the Mackesy Property Collections. Now, this involves, hush now, this involves a trio, that's three, uh, of complete outfits following a cohesive theme. So please welcome to the stage, the Mackesy Property Collections.
shit with nothing in your arsenal. Pulled punches, count as hits. But I've been waiting so long for a song with just one change. Your verses strike a sounding chorus. You were all the same.
feelings on I turn my feelings on the side Yeah, yeah And look, I'm gonna ignite I saw them stars go off I saw them stars go off at night backstage it is working like clockwork man there are people getting in and out of outfits aren't they doing so well the models are doing so well let's give them a round of applause they are gonna need a cup of tea and a lie down after tonight I tell you right we've got some merit award winners they are Aya Kite Kura Kavana from EIT Hawke's Bay, Nan Walden, Eva Makalai, Sylvie Hardy Boys, Izzy Taylor, Fendi Von Hoff from Wellington East Girls College, and Tracy Smith from Invercargill. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> and now to our finalists. I'd like to invite our finalists to the stage. They are Oliver Sheffer, Molly Marsh, and Morgan Ariki Bradshaw. And the runner up is Morgan Ariki Bradshaw of Ara Tupukinga Christchurch. I'd like to invite Anita Bronson to join me on stage to present, to present the Winner's Award. Thanks so much, Anita. Fighting her way through all of the, 
All of the models. The winner of the Mackesy Property Collection Awards is Molly Marsh of Otago Polytech Dunedin. design fantastic stuff absolutely wonderful thank you so much Anita that's awesome so clever but and so stylish at the same time now we are celebrating a special milestone tonight because the Hokanui Fashion Design Awards are 35 35 Absolutely extraordinary. Yeah, that is something to be very, very proud of. And it seemed only right to invite one of its pioneers to the stage. So please put your hands together for Wade Patterson. Wow. <laughs> hey, thanks, Hillary. And it's just so great to be back in Gore, in particular at this, the 2023 Hokanui, Hokanui Fashion Design Awards. And it's event, it is an event that is still very, very dear to my heart. So to the judges, the invited guests, the sponsors, the designers, their supporters and the audience, I do extend a very warm welcome, not only to the 2023 Hokanui Fashion Design Awards, but to Gore as well. It's a town that punches well above its weight in so many fields, including the arts sector. So looking back from humble beginnings in 1998 as a f local fashion design competition, the awards have developed over the years to become a nationally recognised event. They're the longest running fashion design competition of their type in New Zealand and are a credit to a large number of people who have been involved over the years. And personally, the event is special. 35 years ago, I attended that first award, and then 10 years later, I watched my late wife, Heather, take over the reins and transform the event over the next 17 years, helping turn the awards into the spectacle it's become. To Jackie and your team, I both thank and congratulate you for all your efforts in running this event. Most importantly, you've continued to implement change and develop the awards, thereby helping cement their position as a highly regarded and respected national event. Typically promoted as a Southland event held in Gore, a number of people used to ask, why Gore? To me, it's pretty obvious from local business that where else would you get such community support from local businesses and the public? Businesses, both large and small, support the awards year in, year out, showing that they gain value from that um, association. And the public's backing is obvious. This evening's show sold out in 10 minutes, reinforcing the Hokanui's as a must attend event here in Gore. But let's not forget that the event also attracts valued support from the wider South and community and from across New Zealand as well. But the focus of the awards is of course the garments as reflected in the awards mission statement, which was to provide a platform for amateur designers to display their creativity and design skills in a public arena in front of an audience and have their designs judged by a panel of nationally recognised fashion identities. And already we've seen a lot of that creativity and design flair this evening and I'm sure we're going to see quite a lot more. So I'd like to wish the designers all the best tonight. 
Your efforts here may well be the launching pad for a career in the New Zealand fashion industry, as it has been for a number of past entrants. So again, welcome here tonight. Sit back and enjoy what I know will be another spectacular Hakanui Fashion Design Awards. Thank you. Thank you so, <coughs> excuse me, thank you so much, Wade. We're moving on now to the Carfields Natural Fibres. Now, this is a garment crafted from the beauty of Mother Earth using natural fibres and techniques. Please welcome to the stage, Carfields Natural Fibres. <laughs> Welcome to the stage, the following finalists. They are Vicesio Thompson, Michelle Winera, and Suzanne Gillies. Our runner-up tonight is Michelle Winera of Rotorua. Joining me now on stage are Greg and Ryan Carr, 
who will present the winner of the Carfields Natural Fibres Award. Welcome, gentlemen. Now, if you happen to be... What are you laughing at? Welcome, gentlemen. They've got to work their way through the models. You've got a few admirers out there. Now, can I just say, if you are in the lucky position to be one of our winners and you're getting up on stage, we need to take a moment to get a photo. Now, it's a bit confusing because you can't see the photographer, but they're down the end of the runway. So if you do come up, we're just going to take a little moment to get a beautiful photo, so don't rush off. We're going to get a photo of you with your design and with the person presenting the award, and we're going to give lovely cheesy smiles. Okay, we'll see how this goes with our winner, who is Vicesio Thompson of Auckland. Vicesio, come on up. evening um, and that's why he hasn't come up. So I just thought I'd demonstrate for later in the evening, um, if I was Vicesio, I would plant myself in the middle and then we'd pose for a photo. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations Vicesio. Thank you gentlemen. I will let you go. Congratulations. We've got the shot. I love it. Great execution on the photos. Okay, we're moving on to our next section, which is the Peroni Glamour section. Peroni Glamour, love it. A garment filled with excitement designed to turn heads at a formal red carpet like event. Please welcome the Peroni Glamour. <laughs> Who knows what tomorrow will bring Maybe sunshine and maybe rain But as for me, I'll wait and see And maybe it'll bring my love to me Who knows? Who knows? Who knows any better than I? That is she who's keeping me alive I'm keeping the little girl And you know, another day, another day, just another day. I want to live to share the love that only she can give. And if she don't, don't fall. I pray the Lord will help me carry.
Baby, my red dress in the cleaner, but my shift will steal the show. Baby, my red dress in the cleaner's child, but my shift will steal the show. Yes, it's fitting, child, it's fitting. And it ain't the back that's cut too low. Ain't wear my high heels, sneakers, 'cause they hurt my toes is so bad. Ain't wear my high heels, sneakers. I'm getting my steps in tonight. Right, we have one Merit Award in this section. The Merit Award goes to Sheena Richardson of Tauranga. Congratulations, Sheena. <laughs> to our finalists now, and I'd like to invite the following finalists to the stage. Jenny Hasler Jacobs, Viv Tamblin, and Laura Bell Voigt. Our runner-up is Viv Tamblin of Gore. And now I'm joined by Tracy Madison, who is going to present the award to the winner. I knew Tracy would be popular. Tracy's going to uh, present the award to the winner of the Peroni Glamour Award. The winner is Jenny Hasler Jacobs of Balcluitha. <laughs> Congratulations. Now we're going to take a brief 15 minute break. We'll be back very soon. Don't forget the People's Choice Awards, Collaborate Fashion, People's Choice Awards, go make a vote, have your say. We'll see you soon. Ah, uh, yes, it's time to take your seats again, everybody. Who, who's got a good whistle for me to get everyone's attention? Thank you. Oh. Hello. Thank you. Oh, I knew in Gore I could get a couple of those whistles going. Thank you. I don't know that. It, thank you. I don't know that it did much good. That one was quite good. One more of those, please. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's great. If you could take your seats, we are getting underway again. That would be absolutely fabulous. 
You are absolutely fabulous. I agree. And my, my, oh my, your voice carries. You don't even need a microphone. I know. Okay, everybody. Our next section is the Matoda Valley Milk Upcycled. Okay, this is for a garment creatively made from materials that had a former life. Please welcome to the stage the Matoda Valley Milk Upcycled. Robert's got a quick hand. He won't look around the room, he won't tell you his plans. Got a road cigarette. Hanging out his mouth, he's the cowboy kid. Jeff found a six shooter gun in his dad's closet. In a box of fun things, I don't even know why. But he's coming for you, yeah, he's coming for you. All the other kids with the pumped up, they should better run, better run. Thank you. 
sexy back. incredible what you can make out of something that has indeed had a former life. We've got some merit awards to give away in this category. They are to Sarah Leung, Ara Te Pukinga, Christchurch, and also to Vicki Taylor, Blair, and Chris Reeve from Dunedin, and also Lockheel Kay from Dunedin. Congratulations to you all. Can I please ask the following finalists to the stage? Axon Krishnankura, Tracy Smith, and Finn Mora Hill. The runner up is Tracy Smith of Invercargill. And Sonia Morrison is going to join me on stage to present our award in this category. Thanks, Sonia. Yeah, come on. Give it up for Sonia. The winner of the Matoda Valley Milk Collection Award is Finn Morahill of Massey University, Wellington. <laughs> section is the New World Contemporary Daywear section, an everyday garment designed for the individual to feel confident and empowered. Let's welcome to the stage the New World Contemporary Daywear. Dancing, dancing on the people, I got purple hat, cheetah print, dancing on the people, rolled up at the after joint, dancing, dancing on the people, people, dancing on the people, I got people on the people, people, dancing on the people, with the people on the people, smoking CO2, see me, see you, dance on the people, climb up on the booth, hanging from the people, on the people, my head's the roof, dancing on the ceiling, on the people, I got people on the, dancing on the people, I got people, people.
people on the people, people dancing on the people with the people on the I've got no destination and I'm sipping on the tea. I've got all day long just to walk down the street. I start on second avenue, making my way downtown to you. Maybe I'll make a stop at Bang Bang, get myself a new tattoo. Then I find me a secret garden and I sit down with my book, but I'm not planning on reading. I'm just here to have a look at people in and out of stores. Maybe she's an entrepreneur. Maybe he just got. The many characters of summer in New York. There's a man across the street with the best smile I've ever seen. I put my book away and walk over to him in my blue jeans. We start to talk about something, and I suggest we get a drink. Let's bike over the bridge to Brooklyn. You tell me what do you think? And so we head.
favourite awards to hand out in this category. It is to Viv Tamblin of Gore. Well done, Viv. I'd like to invite the following finalists to return to the stage. They are Sky Marriott, Lucy Main, and Renee Louis. Now, our runner up is Lucy Main of Otago Polytech, Dunedin. Well done, Lucy. I'd now like to invite Kristen Dirkris to join me on stage to present the award to the winner. Thanks, Kristen. The winner of the New World Collections Award is Renee Louis of Wellington. Did you mean the words you said? Can I raise them? Brokers menswear section. Yes, blokes, it's what you've been waiting for. Or actually, no, I got that around the wrong way. Yes, ladies, it's what you've been waiting for. A garment proposing unconventional ideas tailored to the modern man. Please welcome to the stage the Property Brokers menswear section. Yeah. 
Unreroute the rivers, let the damned water beat. There's some people down the way that's thirsty, so let the liquid spirit free. The people are thirsty, cause a man's unnatural hand. Watch what happens when the people catch wind, when the water hit the banks of that hard dry right land. Liquid spirit. Liquid spirit, liquid spirit, liquid spirit. Clap your hands now. Blokes, you'll be ordering up some of those outfits, won't you? I can see their work on Monday. Can I please invite the following finalists to the stage? Lucas Jones, Jamie Black, Amy Christie. The runner-up is Lucas Jones of Otago Polytech, Dunedin. And Ryan Osborne is going to join us on stage to present the award. Ryan, 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 Ryan. A lot of fans in the crowd. The winner of the Property Brokers Collection Award is Jamie Black of Cambridge. Don't do the look. Oh, uh, yeah. Johnny don't like the school One day Johnny gonna do something Show him he's nobody's fool Oh yeah! to the Hokunui Heritage Avant-Garde section. This is sure to excite and delight. It is a garment that is forward-looking, innovative, and proposing unconventional ideas. Welcome to the stage, the Hokunui Heritage Avant-Garde. <laughs>
She's playing with her jewelry. She's putting up her hair. She's touring the facility and picking up slack. I want a girl with a short skirt and a long jacket. fell over, I do not know. Right, we have some merit awards. They go to Sinclair Marshall, Otago Polytech Dunedin, and Tegan Vickery, Otago Polytech Dunedin. Our finalists who are coming to stage are Sydney Palmer, Debbie Smith, and Desiree Colson. The runner-up is Desiree Colson of Mosgiel. <laughs> Marcella Giddies is going to join me on stage to present the award to our winner. Welcome, Marcella. Squeezing through the beautiful outfits. The winner of the Hokunui Heritage Avant-Garde Award is Debbie Smith of Gore. <laughs> Because I know Debbie. 
I, I, I've got to know Debbie well. Okay, we're going to take a little break. We're going to be back very soon. Very, very soon. See you in a moment. I don't know about you, but I felt I needed a little something extra. Yeah. Thank you, Debbie Smith, for uh, my amazing adornment. I just feel like it really sets off the dress. For our listening pleasure, it is my delight to introduce Sam Cullen. You know him well, he performed earlier on. He is a former Young Southland Entertainer of the Year. Give it up for Sam Cullen. We are eight away from nine here on ECNZ. It's running a hello, Jim. You're listening to Radio 1. I'm on 91 again. Only you, 98.5. So there goes Sam Cullen. Sam Cullen. Sam Cullen joins us in studio. Sam Cullen. I'm very lucky to have Sam Cullen on the line. You're from South and as well, eh? your lips was the time of my life and your wild wild heart crashed into mine in the dark of night you said I don't say much well I haven't drunk enough I was biting my tongue thinking that this could be forever baby darling all I want is Cause the palm of your hand fits nice in mine So I won't let it go This could be forever yeah, This could be forever This could be forever 
in the rain I turned down a curve and asked you to dance like I was insane You said I don't say much well, I am drunk enough I was biting my tongue thinking that this could be forever but Baby darling all I want is you Palm of your hand fits nice and mine, so I won't let it go. This could be forever. 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 so much. Good night. This is pretty exciting because I managed to drag the judges out here. Give it up for our judges. They have done an absolutely amazing job. Let me introduce them to you. We have Vicky Taylor from Taylor Boutique. Take a bow, Vicky. Steve Dunson from Huffer. Take a bow, Steve. And Liam Bowden from Deadly Ponies. It was a mini bow. It was like a mini bow. I tell you what, Vicky, this must have been really tough to judge all this incredible, incredible talent. Oh, look, it, the decision making that went on behind the scenes, but it was quite incredible. There's so many different pieces that come, the themes, the different levels of construction and all this kind of thing. It's quite amazing what goes on behind the scenes here. Okay, shush. Shh. I need to be able, I can barely hear Vicky for all the talking. Goodness me. Steve, what, talk to me about the level of expertise among some of these designers. I mean, even the, the, the school age oh. entries were just phenomenal. Yeah, the school. I mean, uh, firstly, can we please give a big shout out to Gore? <laughs> like, without you guys, without you guys, the community getting right behind this, providing the pathways, especially for the schools. The school section blew my mind. Unbelievable talent. Just oh, so good. But anyway, I, I just, I think it's time. There's so many volunteers and great people at work on this, but the crowd, you, Gore, amazing. The community, love it. I concur. I'm, com I'm just coming over here. Have you been just blown away by the talent tonight? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I mean, especially the school kids that have just come, um, I guess, up with these ideas from nothing. And then the, I mean, they all look so professional. It's pretty amazing, yeah. I mean, you guys are the top of your field. Do you feel like the New Zealand fashion industry, from what you've seen tonight, is in very good hands? Definitely, yeah. yeah. I'm one of Can I say a hell yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Vicky? 
Oh, I think it's definitely in safe hands for the next generation. Wonderful. Give it up for our judges. Thank you so much. It is not an easy thing to, you know, spend all that time. There were so many garments. I mean, these are the best of the best that have made it into the finals, into the fashion show. But there were so many entries, and uh, they have seen them all. So uh, congratulations for doing such a great job. Right. We are moving on now to the Judges Showcase. Enjoy. Smoking chaos, our shoulder blades kissed. I found you. I found you. I found you. I found you beautiful. I found you exploding. I found you. I found you. I found you. I found you beautiful. I found you exploding. I found you.
without your heart You're pulling yourself apart With sweat bleeding down, I found you hey. I found you Look at the calm across your face Look at the state you got this place Oh, I was outside my mind, but I found, I found, I found. I want you to see me, Fred. I'm here. You. Professional designers, stunning, stunning clothes. Non-professionals, also stunning, stunning clothes. I tell you what, I feel like there's one part of this room that I have failed to enjoy tonight. You know, I'm not a model, and there's a reason they've probably kept me off the runway. In fact, I don't mind sharing with you that there are people backstage who don't want me to walk on the runway. And to that, I say... Oh, God, it's such a long way. Here we go, people. 
I've got. Thank you. I've got to get my look. Love is just a history that they may prove, and when you're gone, I, I tell them my Thank religion you. is Thank when you. pump just comes to kill the king and his throne. I'm ready for the storm. I'll dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands what above my head. Forgive him before his head because dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands above my head, head, head. Like Jesus said, I'm gonna dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands above my head. And she better forgive him before his head. me probably won't do that again <laughs> fair to say and I tell you what that's a long way oh that's such a long way but thank you for your encouragement I've never walked the runway before I bet you can't thank you I bet you can't tell because I I look like such a pro not okay I'm surprised someone didn't run down their security or something and stop me but luckily, oh, here we go. Oh, I really have lost my breath. That's so embarrassing. I need to do more power. You, honestly, you should see me around the neighborhood. I'm a power walker. Get those arms going. I'll have to get into a bit more of that. Okay. We're moving on. We're moving on to our special awards. So we will have a bit of calm in the room now because we're getting to the pointy end of some very, very important awards. Okay. Okay. So our first award is the Fabric Store Best Use of Fabric Award. And our winner is Jenny Hasler Jacobs of Balclutha. Come on up. Careful down the stairs. Our next award is the O'Connor Richmond Garment with the most commercial potential. And Sarah Colley is coming on stage to present this award. Come on over, Sarah. Thank you so much. Lovely to see you. The winner is Sarah Leong of Ara Te Pukinga, Christchurch.
stuff. Moving on to the Wolves of New Zealand Best Use of Wool Award. And Bridget Russell is going to join me on stage to present this award. Thank you so much, Bridget. The winner is Denise Mill of Ara Te Pukenga Christchurch. <laughs> Council Aloha Award. And I had the Right Honourable Mayor Ben Bell uh, joining me on stage to present the award. If you could come out to present our next award, that would be fantastic. Our, or I'll present it. Our winner is Nan Walden, Eva Mokolai, Sylvie Hardy Boys, Izzy Taylor, Fendi von Hoff of Wellington East Girls College. <laughs> award because it's the award that you all voted on. It is the Collaborate Fashion People's Choice Award. And Mandy and Shania are going to join me on stage to give out this award. Come on out, ladies. Just going to check that they're here. Are Mandy and Shania backstage and joining me? So, you know, I've, I've been in Gore for a little while, and, and I've already met half the people in Gore, including these two lovely ladies, because, you know, I went out of town and had lunch and went did a little bit of shopping. Um, so we've been acquainted. And this is such a lovely award, because as I say, this is the award that you voted in, and we've counted all those votes, and I can tell you that the winner is... Debbie Smith! <laughs>
Gov, congratulations, Debbie. To the Country Living Narrative Award, and Katie Smith is joining me on the stage to present this award. Come on out, Katie. Thank you. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. And the winner is Lucas Jones of Otago Polytech, Dunedin. to the Heather Patterson QSM Memorial Award for the best Southland designer. And Heather's granddaughter, Ali Patterson, is gonna come on stage. Hi, Ali, lovely to have you here, to present the award. The winner is Amy Christie of Gore. <laughs> Congratulations and thank you, Ali, as well, for presenting the award. We're moving on to the Huffa Young Designer Awards, and Steve Dunstan is going to join me on stage now. Uh, Steve, are you there? Steve's coming out. Steve's been busy putting on his own. Steve, has, other than me, Steve has been one of the busiest people here tonight. So I think we'll just have a little clap of appreciation for Steve. And I'm gonna move away from the lectern and let you speak. Would you like, oh no, you don't have to. Would you like to say a couple of words just about how clever the young designers are? <laughs> okay, yes, um, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, um, I was blown away by the talent of these young designers. Um, it's just been an absolute pleasure to be down here um, in Gore, which I hope you know I love Gore. Um, but <laughs> Shout out to Gore. Um, but yeah, I, I'm so proud to be here to um, hand this award to the young designers. So yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone in Gore and thank you for making this happen. Okay, our winner of the Huffer Young Designer Award is Kirsha Napier of St. Matthew's Collegiate School Master
right, I'm sure. To the Matata Licensing Trust Awards of Excellence, Horace McCauley is going to join me on stage to give out this next award. Thank you, Horace. The winner of the Matoda Licensing Trust Awards of Excellence is Molly Marsh of Otago Polytechnic Canada. flowers as well. Remember Molly's name. Our big winner tonight. Congratulations, Molly. Well, thank you everybody for coming along tonight. Thank you so much for having me. I have loved being in Gore this weekend. You are all such lovely, lovely people. Couple of things I need to tell you. The committee hope that you've enjoyed drinking out of your custom tumblers this evening. You can take those with you, but you, you can't take the Huskies. They've got to stay behind. Have a, head over to the merchandise table if you want to get a husky. And please, don't drive home if you had a few drinks. Get a cab. Go Gore! And go the Hokkaido Fashion Awards! Woo! See you later!
Simple ever say anything about D. Your mama never listens to a word that you say. Simple little words just to make another change. So lay that in my grave. All in the gaps and they can't get up. Holding up the ropes and they get so tough. Strategy thoughts and I'm on the top. And now I'll crack your head. The lies, the truth, to ease the pain. You know you got to say, I think. Child forced to lose a game. Now they recognize your name. Simple word is all I say. No more lies and arguments. Start again, start again. 